again? No. I keep thinking this is going to be our thing. It needs to be your thing. I try to help. And, so, and this is what we get. Hello, everybody. <laughs> so, hi, everybody. Hello. <laughs> we, <laughs> the West Coast Swing guys. I'm Jeffrey. I'm Sir Jeffrey. And this is Mr. Matt. We are wearing Nevada colors today because oh, we are in Reno. And Nevada's in the NCAA tournament. Yes. Seated number seven. So, good luck to those guys. guys. All right, buddies. All right, uh, so today um, we are going to talk about, uh, we did a simple little combination, uh, but it's working on, we reviewed our pulse action that we did last time, we did um, a little simple combination where the guy actually mimics the followers uh, piece, uh, not mocks, but mimics. Yeah, it's in serious form of life. <laughs> so, so it's, and then uh, what else we do? Oh, and we did a turn exercise. Just to get you started, uh, we used an outside turn, very simplistic way to, uh, to practice, to get you started, uh, working on turns. So, uh, let's have a drink and yeah. let's get started. Okay. okay. All right, so, oh, by the way, we're in a, if you haven't noticed, uh, we built a wall in the main ballroom so we can't see the floor anymore. That's not actually the case. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're in the closet today, so. Uh, and we're never coming out. Never coming out. <laughs> So, uh, I, I am his heterosexual life partner. That's right. So. We'll be together until one of us dies. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So, uh, we're going to do the combination. Um, and eventually, hopefully, we'll have a curtain here and all that stuff. So, we'll have puppet shows. That'll be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, here's the combination. Super duper easy. So, start with a sugar push. And a one, two, three, and four, five, and six. And a one, two, three, and four. Five and six and a one, three and four, leader. Then we go into a turn where the follower goes downward, anchor step. Okay, now, what was unique about that was um, what the follower had to do. Now, the followers, it's super duper important that you do your basics correctly. So in your underarm turn, if you're, if you're hosing your underarm turn and you're not turning enough, follower, the leader's not going to know that you're doing something different. So I'll do a really crappy one. So, so if I go, wait, I'm the follower. I gotta put my head around. I forgot. Sorry. A tennis player look. Yeah. It's an old hat. You know? All right. So, so uh, the crappy one, girls, is getting like this. If you see my shoulder, uh, that, if you're doing this and you're not rotating your chest enough, that's gonna hurt you. So we teach our beginner class uh, something I learned from Skippy Blair in her uh, West Coast 101 stuff. Uh, she taught me to 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 turn on the two, on the end of two, and then that way the girls can't come down by three and she's in a great position. We're more advanced dancers, right, girls? So you're working towards that. So so my sit bone is over my heel, my knee is released, so my partner knows I'm ready to come forward. I go one, two, I do CBM on one, I turn on two, I bring my hand over my own head, bring it down by three. That is my job as a follower. So now if I'm gonna to continue to rotate and finish it off, my chest is turning, Whatever numbers we're running, yeah. running. <laughs> so anyways, so shit, let's do it again. <laughs> so yeah, this is live, there's no editing. So we got one, two, three, and four. Now girls follow as you can see, my chest has turned up about seven eighths, which is all but one little eighth of a turn towards my partner, but my hip is not. My hips are under turn because I turned into my left lap and I'm um, I got body torque, a body up position, and I'm gonna use my hips to on one, okay? Now, so with that being said, what we're going to do is we have to, we're going to shorten our line, our distance, because I'm going to underturn. you got to remember geometry in your movements, because if I change it, he's used to a basic. If I do a good basic and I haven't turned, he should realize something's different, right? Yes. So, uh, but girls, look at my elbow is, okay? Now, because I turn, watch, watch I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn, watch. You see how we're all, it's too, I'm too close for that position, okay? But I'm too far if I'm over here. And that's the biggest challenge I saw with girls uh, when we were teaching this. So, so girls, you have to understand your elbow is at your uh, elbow. Is that your, uh, what do you call that thing, rib cage? The elbow is always at the elbow, <laughs> but those are going to be towards the rib cage on four. <laughs> that's what I eat. <laughs> that's why it doesn't look like an assistant coach. So, <laughs> right? so, so, um, so the feeling of girls is you want to get your elbows here. Now, when I do this, um, go ahead. when I do this, I go one, two. Look how small my three hand is. Okay, and I get that down, and I step four because my connection is here. All right, I feel it. I'm connected to my partner. So look at my hip is. My hip is going past my four like a normal uh, thing. 
uh, four, and so now girls, I'm gonna check back. I'm gonna check, check, replace, and then we're gonna turn. I could also, this could be a variation, check, replace, cross, and then swivel around, which I really dig. But we're doing the easy version. We're gonna go, and by the way, look where my arm is, girls, it's up here, creating some cleavage, okay? So I'm gonna come in here and go check back, but look, I did not move my body as far as my feet. I didn't do this, and see what happened, I moved my hand. Do not move your hand, girls. Your intention is to connect to your partner, like you're gonna just do a basic, you've just underturned. So A, he either thinks you've done a really crappy underarm turn, or a really good one, okay? Because <laughs> you're getting ready to do something. So, so I'm gonna keep my hand here, I check, see, look, you can see with this, uh, the, the, my white skin against the dark color, you can see my hand isn't moving. And then I'm gonna turn, connect, five and six, okay? Well, that was your five and six. That was my five and six, whatever. Okay, but you got it. Okay, do it one more time. That's with the side. You'll probably see, not, see nothing on this one. Yeah. So it goes one, two, three, and four, five, and six, cool? All right, look at my elbow, it's right here. So now, and up. Now, this is important. Ladies, your and beat of the six. Your heel does not, cannot, should not lower before the and of six. So watch a basic sugar. I've got one, two, three, and four, five, and six, and a one, okay? So that's important that you practice that because when we do the pulse action that we're gonna review, um, you're gonna be, need to do that right. If you're dropping your heel, try to do the pulse. If, you, if I drop, he drop, I drop my heel, excuse me, on six, five, and six, I don't feel anything. I don't feel anything because I'm down too quickly. So I wanna be sure that I hold my heel up on, on the on till, excuse me, the end of six, right? The beer always makes me burp. So, so anyways. Which is why we continue. That's why it's getting bigger. <laughs> Little hair in the dust. So, uh, so anyways. Um, so anyways, we'll talk about that in a minute when we do the pulse. So, and guys, same thing for you. Guys, you don't drop your heel, lower your heel, until you've exited the foot. Once your body is past the foot, you can lower your heel. All right, what was the next move? Uh, the guy mimics, copies. Oh, yeah, 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 imitates. the guy imitates. So the guy is gonna lead me on a, on a basic underarm turn. So girls, I've already done one. I'm just thinking back to normal town. So I'm in a good four position here. Now my partner's gonna do his thing. Five and six. Now guys, did you notice how See how awesome Matt did that? He didn't put that hand at all, okay? Do that again, that was so awesome. It's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm so excited, let's go. <laughs> One, two, three, and four, five, and six. See, so girls, it didn't affect me at all, okay? Now, now I have a really nice connection here, so we're expanding back, my sit bone goes past my heel, always gonna remind you, be sure your head is over the ball of your foot. Now, as you see how Mr. Madden is taking his rib cage across the floor, he's got a nice extension stretch through his lap. So now from here, girls, on your basic inside turn, you're gonna do, uh, we're gonna bend your knees. So we're gonna go one, he preps me two, guys, he took his hand from rail to rail. So the hand is on the rail, creating space. You can see the space that's being created here. I'm gonna bend my knees, three, and push four, and five, and six. Now. We're getting ready to do the pulse. So from here, girls, as you lower that six, he goes pulse and step, and then back to normal. Now, he didn't necessarily lead me in that one. Uh, we did, actually, but but uh, you didn't have to. And guys, you can do it without her doing it. No one cares, okay? Because it doesn't affect each other. Uh, next week, actually, we're gonna teach leading the pulse, uh, so we'll talk more about that. Uh, but other than that, uh, I think that was pretty much it. Yeah, do the whole thing one more time, and then we'll talk about turns. So be sure you stay in turn, tuned for our turns at the end. So we'll do the whole thing one more time from this direction. We've got one, two, real good sugar push, four, five, and six, and a one, two, three, and four, five, and six, and a one, two, three, and four, five, and six, and a one, two, three, and four, five, and six, and a one, and two. Cool? Now, uh, that's super easy, but the reason we taught this is uh, to work on connection. That's the mainstay. That posting uh, is so important that we post on the end of four. It's not on the four, it's on the end of four, uh, so you can breathe into it. Uh, you have anything you want to add? Uh, no, just that we have to be aware a lot of times, guys, and I, I teach a lot of time in closed positions and really become aware of it, where the rails are. So. 
when we're doing anything like a prep, we have to know where that rail is so that it's not ambiguous for her. So just always remember the two word. Her, three letters, one syllable. So if we took her frame, you would see that the hands are sitting on the rails. And regardless of if I let that hand go, there's a rail there. Regardless if I let that hand go, there's a rail there. And I have to be constantly aware of those. Make sure they're landing there on four so that we have a place to post from. Because if I land on the inside on four, I'm going to do something different. Yeah. If I go outside, it's going to do something different. Yeah. So I have to be sure that my post is in a good spot for her to finish up yeah. with the slot. Absolutely. That's awesome. I think smart. <laughs> so <laughs> ambiguous. <laughs> we're not ambiguous. We're just never coming out of the problem. <laughs> All right. So let's talk about turns. Turns. Now, girls, this is, uh, guys, too. Guys, we turn as much as girls. So we're going to turn to the camera. All we're going to do is a simple exercise. Now, um, let me back up just a little bit. Uh, the simple exercise is the fact that uh, we're going to learn how to bring our feet together. Now, as dancers, uh, we're both dancers uh, from other styles of dance, and uh, we would do it slightly different. We'll talk about it, but for practice purposes, I want to be sure, we want to be sure that you're bringing your feet together correctly. So, real simply, all we're going to do right now is step forward onto the right foot. Now, from here, we're going to turn to the right. We'll talk about turning here in a second. We're going to turn to the right and we're going to let our feet come together. You'll notice I didn't say bring our feet together because if we do that and we go here and I just bring my feet together, it's going to be sloppy. So our body is going to rotate. Now when we turn to, a, uh, if a girl's doing an outside turn where her hand's going this way, uh, uh, it will turn her chest first and then her hips follow. So the hips, by the way, your rudder, your tailbone, is what you're going to turn when you backwards. So, so we're going to already have had our chest turn to the right here, so our rudder is, you can feel the body torque. My center is here, my chest is over here, two different places. Okay, so now from here we take our rudder and we turn it to the right, and it brings our feet together. All right? Now, what I want to do is the next part, we're going to call this, what we're going to call it, H. We'll call it H for no other reason except for our feet are side by side. Okay, and I heard somebody call it an H one time, and I thought, eh, okay, we'll use it. I didn't really like the next, they used to, they said this position was a T, I don't dig it, it's a check, really. It's a third foot position, okay? So when your heel is at the instep of your left foot, now we're not in ballet class, but it's it's pretty close uh, to a, what we call a third position. So what I want to do, why don't you do it this way, man? Okay. We'll do the first part, uh, we'll step, uh, yeah, we'll go here, we'll do our H, so we're going to go to H, then we're going to go another quarter turn, and we're going to go to third. So. The important part here is that your left foot swivel. It had to. If I'm here and I do this, I didn't turn, right? right. And that is the biggest challenge that uh, we see uh, with the girls doing their turns is they'll actually uh, do an outside turn. They'll actually start their turns and they'll stop their feet. They'll stop the foot from turning and now they're falling into this next piece. So it's so important that you swivel that foot. So that exercise, everyone get up with us. You too. And let's do that exercise. So we're going to go forward, just uh, left foot, step on the ball of the left foot, so you'll notice our left side is slightly forward. I'm not square, I'm left side slightly forward because I got crept into it. We'll do the H, and then we'll go to third foot position. Okay? Cool. Now we're going to do it again, but we're going to go further. So uh, this, we'll do it this way first if it works. So we're going to go, uh, so we're, we're walking out one, two, now we're going to turn all the way to this wall. And then third. All right, so let's flip around to the other way. And this is all we're going to want you to practice right now. We're going to build on this. Okay, this way this video isn't 20 minutes long. So yeah. here we got one, two, all the way around, brought our tailbone around, third foot position. Okay, now this is important. We can talk about this, but you'll notice our sit bone is back over our heel all the way through this. So if we do it one last time, We'll stop on the H, and we've got one, two, all the way around. My sit bone, our sit bones are pulled back over our heel, and so when we swivel for the third, it's already there. If your hips are four, this is what most people do. And what's important that you do, we'll do the H one more time. So we've got one, two, what's wrong? I fell. Because my because my feet are, and somebody would have said, might have said, your feet aren't together. I would have said, no, the feet aren't together because my body fell. So, so we're going to add one little, one little bit of information that will help you. Now, one thing, uh, if you don't know about your body, 
it's actually designed uh, to be correct. So, so the idea is if one leg is free, one hip is higher. It's just the way you build. So if we exaggerate it, you know, do this, right? Do <laughs> so that, we don't do that. As, as this hip lifts, this hip socket comes backwards. So if you're in this alignment, you can see it. So our sit bone is over our heel. If your sit bone is over your heel, I'm telling you your socket is back. You're, when you're in this position, your right hip is just a little bit higher than your left. If it, if it wasn't, you would not be able to swing your leg. If I drop it, see, I can't swing the leg. But up here, I can swing the leg. Make sense? So when you're doing your turn, whatever free leg you have, that is the hip that is slightly higher. So if we do the H again, we go one, two, your right hip is going to be higher. And then when you do the swivel, you're already there. Life is easy. It's so easy to do this stuff, OK? So we're going to suggest that you practice that. And then next week, when we go, we'll get into more detail, and, and there's a lot of more stuff. But I'm going to tell you, and Matt, Mr. Matt will uh, attest to this, is turns are what you put into them. They're done. They don't magically happen. I watch, and most people don't do outside turns, uh, get, uh, at least get started. Inside turns are uh, a little easier to start and be off balance. But outside turns really suck when you're off balance. So, uh, so what we want to do is um, work on that. And so just work on your feet. So if you have any questions, uh, you know, comment. So do us a favor. And uh, remember, uh, we're with uh, uh, betterwestcoastswing.com. So betterwestcoastswing.com. Uh, a lot of great information on there, and we're going to have uh, these videos are all uh, linked to that, so you can go to there and come back and forth. And uh, what else? Anything else? I think that's it. Yeah, so comment below, like, dislike, share, um, but take action and do this, and let us know if you're liking what you see, liking what we're doing. If you don't, that's great too, because you know we're just we're doing this for you guys. Um, we already know this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so, so anyways, I uh, really, really hope it helps you, and uh, we appreciate every one of you. Uh, thank you very much, and please be sure you subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, please be sure to subscribe so you get uh, every week-ish uh, uh, the insanely awesome technique that we're trying to teach you guys, and keep it simple. We're going to do everything we teach you how to dance, not what to dance. All right, guys, everybody, have a wonderful day, and be a good Human. And go pack, right? Go pack, yeah. Oh, yeah All right, cheers. <laughs>